So today we are going to continue with part 3 of our Fleet MS version 3 and today we are going to be setting up the database tables as you can see right here. In the previous tutorial we set up the, the admin template in Angular and we also set up a node application and connected a node application to PostgreSQL database as you can see right here. This is a node application and you can see it's connected to the database. So today we are going to be setting up the database tables, okay? Uh, actually the database tables and there are different ways to do it. In the Fleet MS version 2, remember we use Hibernate to actually set up the tables after writing the, the classes, the Java classes, and we use Hibernate to automatically create the tables for us. In Fleet MS version 3, using Node.js, you can also use an ORM tool, possibly there's one called Type ORM, there's also one called Sequelize, and there are a few other ones but I don't want us to get into using ORM in Node.js. We are going to do that a little later so that we want to keep things easy. So to create our tables automatically from Node.js, we are going to be using, uh, using a workaround. We are going to go run Fleet MS version 2 so that it can create this database, uh, the database tables for us. And then that will be easy for us to work with. Later on, when we are going to be talking about ORM in, uh, in Node.js, we are going to be now talking about uh, type ORM that will be later on. And that way it's going to be very easy for us to follow. If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And also feel free to leave me a comment and let me know if you have any challenges. And also feel, feel free to connect with me on my social network profiles. And let's go ahead to continue now. So this is where we are. So we have connection to the database from Node.js, but now that there is no fleet DB right there. So we are going to go to uh, PostgreSQL uh, PG admin and create an empty database. We, act we actually need to create an empty database, and then we are going to populate this empty database automatically with um, object. So uh, my uh, PG admin opens up, so I'm going to enter my password and say OK. And I'm going to go to server, I'm going to localhost, I'm going to database, I'm going to just right click and say create database, I'm going to call it fleet db. And call it fleet db for now, the owner can be Postgres, so you don't have to worry about anything. So, this is the only thing you need to do here. And I'm going back to Node.js and I'm going to simply remove this connection and then reconnect it back. So let me remove this connection. Uh, just in case you didn't follow the previous class, this is what we did to connect from Node.js to Postgres. We also go to data source and choose Postgres. And the user is Postgres. And the password is the password you set when you set up PostgreSQL. And the database now, this is where you want to pay attention. It's going to be the new database we created, FleetDB. And you can see the URL right here, so that is fine. So you simply test the connection and it connected uh, successfully. I'm going to apply and say OK. And once I come here, you can see database FleetDB for now is empty, I think, probably, and there's nothing in there. So we are going to invoke Fleet MS version 2 and then simply run it, and it simply will create uh, this database tables, all the tables for us are uh, using the URL, um, the database URL. So I'm going to go try to open Fleet MS version 2. So I'm going to say file, open, recent. It's going to be Fleet MS v2. Uh, yeah, Fleet MS v2. And it opens up. If you can remember, you should have it by now because you follow Fleet MS v2. So here we have the, um, this my uh, application the properties file in Fleet MS version 2. Uh, but now you can see a whole lot of things here. So I'm going to just change this because this is uh, the password when we actually deployed to Heroku. So I'm going to simply copy this so I don't change something and then right. copy this and paste and then comment this one out. So here I'm going to change the, this one's going to be localhost, localhost. Uh, the database name here should be fleet db. 
and the username here will be postgres and the password I say the password the postgres and the this should be JDBC postgres SQL postgres SQL that's fine and I'm going to go to my pom.xml just to make sure I have a PostgreSQL dependency uh, in my pom.xml. So this is my pom.xml, and if you if I go down, you can see I have PostgreSQL. I also have my SQL. Maybe I can just uh, comment my SQL so you can increase this so that you can see right here in my pom.xml. So I can actually comment my SQL out, and yeah. I think we're on track now, so I'm going to save everything. So once I run this, well, Fleet MS Fleet DB, a uh, Fleet MS version two, we expect it to connect to Fleet DB database in PostgreSQL and create all the objects for us. So let's see how it plays out. So let me just uh, click on start. So hopefully it works and. Okay, so it's running this, the create table statement and the create foreign key statement, all this, all this, all this are running and they have you started the application on port 8080. Okay, so let me stop it. Let's now go to PostgreSQL to check if it actually created those objects. So if I go to PostgreSQL and uh, refresh this and go to schema, go to tables and you can see Okay, so right now you can see all the tables are created for us right here in in our, in our database. So it means that we can we've actually done a walk around and create all the tables for ourselves. But it seems to me that once you stop this application, it's going to delete all these tables. So try to maybe change this one to DDL Auto is equal to DDL Auto. So. Anyway, so what you can do, just close, um, so, see? so you can have it to be create. Create is, is fine. So if you use create drop, it might drop it when you close. So this should be it. All right, so if I go back to node application now, and we should be able to see those tables created here. So if I refresh, uh, refresh button, refresh key, and, and see, now we have all the tables available in our Node.js application. So there is a workaround on how to create all your tables without using an ORM tool. And at least we've done this. So the next thing we are going to be doing now, if we want to load initial data into our database, and this is called database migrations. So in the next part, which is going to be part four, we are going to still work on Node.js. This time we are going to create a database migration that is going to a seed, add some initial data into the database when the application starts up. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please um, like it and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.